Doesn't Thor look like he did in that statue we saw in the lake? Back when it was still a lake. It did at first. Then Thor saw it. The second sculptor was a great deal more complimentary. Guess that explains why Odin's statue doesn't quite look like him either. Gladly. It was said that Yari and Somer first shared a kiss in the fields of Jotunheim. Wait, what? How did they get there? Don't know. Point is, they went on countless expeditions, each location more beautiful than the last. But they found as they did, the destination became less important than simply traveling together. What about the unnameable thing? It was home. Yari and Somar had found it in each other. There he is. Your the stats man. are returned. Better late than never. Incredible! The Nine Realms are no longer in horticultural danger. I cannot thank you enough. But perhaps this will suffice. Arrogant believes he has evaded punishment just because you fixed his blunder. He is sorely mistaken, of course. He will be in a remarkable amount of trouble. Once I figure out how to punish someone whose narcissism renders him invulnerable to all forms of emotional warfare. Well then, what else, friends? There is one thing I'd like to know. Obviously the time has come to talk about me! It most certainly has not. What? Why not? How dare you belittle my accomplishments! I apologize for arrogance. His volume has only increased over the years. 
And why shouldn't it? I single-handedly take care of the Ding Dang World Tree. Without your boy here, the realms would rot off the branches before you can say ingratitude. It does have a point. Tending to the world tree all on your own, it's no small task. Of course, he's got a point, my dear Mimir. But singing your own praises, it's awfully gauche, isn't it? Who the hell else is gonna sing them? <sighs> and your question was? Oh, I've utterly forgotten. Splendid. Until next time, then. Until our next encounter, then. Jump! of the hour. I want to hear everything. I mean, when you're ready, I'm not giving orders. Ever. Try to rest, Ingvi. Let the herbs work. Oh, they work? Oh, they, they work very well. Enough. Look at that. <laughs> you really did it. How? In all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? I knew our spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody! Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refuse that deal. Yet he honored it. But now... But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can... Go back. Go back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers, maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happened. Trace, you are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye, and once he has what he needs from you... Then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father, I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. I do too, Sam. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, uh, you have it. And therein lies a tale. 